This is Stephen with Precision Raceworks. Today we're going to be doing the install of an upgraded low pressure fuel pump in an E60. Now to do so, you're going to need some tools. Now that you know what tools are required, all you need to get started is a 10 millimeter socket. The first thing you got to do is you got to pull the back seat up. Now it's pretty easy. You just yank it up, make sure you're seat belts get fished through and we see if there's any surprises underneath that's another penny 15 30 cents <laughs> so then we're pulling this up first we gotta take this grommet and it's gotta be pulled around the fabric so you don't damage anything and we'll use the 10 millimeter to loosen this. All right. I'm gonna pull that guy up. So you have your power connector, it has to be disconnected, so that way you can depressurize the lines. To do so, simply slide that over. All the way over, and then it comes right off. Moving back over to the driver's side, again, pull back the fabric. You want to tuck it underneath so that way it stays out of your way. And we're going to remove the nuts on this side holding this cover. All right. Take this cover off. So this is your primary feed line to the car. The reason why we turn the car on first is so that way we don't make a giant mess doing this. And we only need a couple of paper towels to clean up. Okay. Now you use your lock ring tool, line it up. This is your feed line. To remove it, make sure you push in and push the two clips. And it takes a little bit of effort. Be careful, because this is fairly easily damaged. And make sure that goes back into the tank. Not all over your back seat. Next up, is this, this is part of the Venturi system and return system. There's a little clip right here you push down. And you're supposed to be able to just slide it right out. So next we need to disconnect this clip. There it goes. And lastly, this one right here. And to disconnect this, again, push it together, pinch the two points, and pull it up. At this point, if you're replacing the fuel filter unit, now's a great time to do that. Back over to the passenger side with the fuel pump. Use our handy dandy lock ring tool again, or giant flathead screwdriver and a hammer. <laughs> so once you loosen it, you can unthread it and remove the cap. And then we start the process of pulling the actual pump out. When upgrading your E60, you actually have a couple of options for fuel pump upgrades. We have a stage two, a stage 2.5, and a stage three. 
First off, this is the factory pump that came out of this E60. Then you can upgrade to a stage two or 2.5. The stage two is good for 575 wheel horsepower on pump gas and 500 wheel horsepower on E85. The stage 2.5, which is gonna look just like this one, is going to be good for 650 wheel horsepower on pump gas and 550 on E85. The stage three, which is this one with the twin pump setup, it's dual Warbro 450, is good for 1,000 wheel horsepower on pump gas and up to 850 wheel horsepower on E85. So now we have the rebuilt pump. This is a stage two and a half pump now. And you can see that the line is pre-molded for inside the tank. So the first step is to get these lines fished across. And to do so, you have to not be afraid to stick your arm down in your tank. So I do recommend a not full tank to make this a little bit easier. So once you get the lines through, which is a challenge, you're going to make sure you have your O-ring still to seal it. Compress the pump down and reinstall the lock ring. Moving back to the driver's side, you're going to start by pulling these out, fishing the float in. You can start with the black fitting. Snaps into place. The float sensor snaps into place. The feed tube, make sure it latches on. And the return tube, make sure it latches on. Feed everything back in, make sure the O-ring's in place. Reinstall the lock ring and tighten it back into place. Reconnect the feed. Make sure your connector is slid out. Reconnect your main power to your pump. And put the metal plates back into place along with the nuts. Don't forget to tighten them with your 10 mil. So with all of that done, now is the time of truth. Will it start? Beautiful.